X Games Aspen 2022. I'm Brandon Graham here with Craig McMorris, and we pick up the action with one run left to go in the men's snowboard slope style competition. Who's going to ride away with gold here in men's snowboard slope style? You look at the leaderboard, you see a bunch of names up there. That can all change immediately. It's best run counts. You could have landed nothing all day. Yep and put something down here in the fourth and final run. Facts. That'll jump you from uh, maybe a sixth place to a first place like Facts. Max Perot possibly could do right here. So Max Perot sitting in sixth place. He's got the rail section on lockdown, Craig, and then I say that. That's okay, comes off a little bit early. Not a major issue, but an issue nonetheless. But it's been the jump section, shockingly really, when you think about his big air prowess that has given Max trouble today. Totally. And what everyone at home has to remember is, hey, why, why aren't these people putting it down in these four runs? These are the hardest tricks you could possibly do on a snowboard. A cap triple 1620, that is so difficult. Lands on the heels again. Front side triple 16, front side triple 1800. That's a lot of degrees of rotation. That is five full 360s. So let's see here. This is the cap 16 triple. He has struggled with it because he lands on his heels a lot here. You can see him put his backhand down. Yep, saves it. That will be of note to the judges, but right. let's take a look at this final jump. Front side 1800. Oh my, I'm protracting this. Yep. And that is a very clean landing. Does he go into first place? The fact that he was able to bring it around in time and still have the pop to put that down. The only thing I can take away from it is our current leader, Mark McMorris, went, okay, yeah. So that puts Max into third. Finish that thought part. I was just going to say, Mark McMorris's run, he had uh, triple 16, triple 14, triple 16, where we saw Max Perot on that first jump, just a backside 1260. That is where I think the judges would separate Max and Mark Probably there. the determining factor. So here's Darcy Sharp, sitting in eighth place. Fourth and final run, the clock has ended. Don't worry, each of these riders is going to get a fourth and final run. Board slide, switch up, switch front board, 270 out. That sets them up, switch for that switch front board, front blunt, if you will. That's another conversation, 270 out. Switch back 12. That was a very gangster landing. Frontside triple, 1440, yep. Darcy Sharp, do it for the reply, guys. Triple 1440, Darcy Sharp. You could hear that scream probably all the way in Comox, BC, because uh, he is fired up. The double arm claim. It was a long time coming for Darcy out here today, but he saves his best for last. Overcame so much adversity, knee reconstruction, had COVID earlier this year. So happy to be out here, and I'm so stoked to see him put down this fourth and final run. Backside triple 1440 to cap things off. Where does this put him? I don't... It'll be interesting to see where the judges put him. His run was a little bit cleaner than Max's. Max's was a little bit more difficult. Uh, and it looks like Darcy has bumped out Max Perot into that bronze medal spot. Wow! But it's not over. As we said at the top of this segment, everything can change. As we hit the eight-minute mark, last night's winner of the Golden Knuckle, Marcus Cleveland, up next. He took us down the course a little bit earlier. Let's check it out. Love that sound. I love that sound. What's your favorite uh, TikTok trend right now? Do you have any? I think Marcus is showing you what it is. <laughs> I do. I love just raw clips on TikTok like you're seeing right here. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, breaking news. Sound the alarm, Gregor. Hashtag X Games is officially trending on TikTok. So if you want your next TikTok to blow up, be sure to hashtag X Games. So here's Marcus Cleveland sitting in eighth place, still looking for that signature Marcus run. He's won this event twice before, but it's going to need something huge right here, right now. 
love that 50-50 over 270, pulls it back, sets himself up switch for this third and final rail. Cab two in, two out. Off the toes. Oh, that was really flippy. Okay, so back 16. Into the back side. Yeah. Sets him up for this cab 18. Went way too big last time. Note the speed check right there. Smart. Get going. Okay. Marcus Cleveland stomping the yard on his final <laughs> run. <laughs> that was wild. So our cab 18 predictions from Marcus Cleveland have come to fruition. There's a good look at that 50-50 front over two. Pulls it back here. Backside 16-20. Doesn't really dip it a lot. Keeps it flat. Put some switch stance for the landing and sets him up for this. The cab 18. Look at the patience on that. If you have ever spun cab off a jump, you know it's very difficult to stay patient. The to grab. not go a little bit early. But Marcus Cleveland holds the grab almost the entirety wow. of this 1800. Perseverance. Not enough pop. Then too much pop. Correct. Then just that right amount. Good luck, judges. Yeah. Does this beat Mark McMorris? He does have a 16 to an 18. Yes, it does. We have a new leader! Marcus Cleveland taking over first place! We weren't just talking. Anything can happen. It is men's slope style final. Fourth and final run. This is where the magic happens, Brando. And Marcus, everything always seems so automatic with him. So to see him put the work in and deliver when it mattered most, he's in disbelief. Of course, Mark McMorris and Rene Renekong still have their final runs to go as well. But here's Sven Torgren. If you are just joining us or haven't seen uh, the previous run, Sven Torgren took a very hard hit in his first run on the second jump, skipped his second run, came back in his third, and put on a show. Run four, I think it'll be more of the same. Here's where he went down really hard, that frontside triple 1440, so difficult, so blind. So Sven Thorgren with the front triple 14 into the backside 16 stale grab. So Sven obviously inspired by what Marcus was just able to put down. He puts down a very clean final run. The money booter. One of the only... <laughs> He's driving the line. One of the only snowboarders to do that backside rotation with a stale fish grab. Kind of his signature, if yeah. you will. Certainly one of the most creative jumpers in the field. And Sven Torgren jumping up into the bronze medal spot. Well, Craig, there have been so many changes to the top three today as this amazing field battles it out. When we return, Mark McMorris looks to take back the lead from Marcus Cleveland in the Jeep men's snowboard slope style. Playoff time, baby. Games, snacks, drinks. I mean, what else can you ask for, bro? Really? Hand me some lays. Hey, Eli! Road trip to the Super Bowl! We're not going. I'm going to get more chips and drinks. Do not leave this room. Technically, I didn't leave the room. Good for you, you doing here. I got without me, baby. God, I wish that I could do that. It does kind of open things up a little bit. Since retirement, I've been trying a lot of new things. With Frank's Red Hot, it's the perfect blend of flavor and heat. Like me. And it's great on all the recipes I've mastered. I put that on everything. Hi, I'm Heather, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is getting the perfect bite. It's probably not the first bite, it's the second or the third, with the juicy chicken and the delicious pickle. The bite with the pickle is it. I mean, that is like the magic combination. Hi, I'm Jennifer. A little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the combination of the warm, soft bun against this delicious piece of chicken. The bun is just this soft little hug around the chicken that's so perfect in every bite. USAA is made for the safe pilots, like Matt, who can come to a stop with barely a bobble. 
With USAA Safe Pilot, when you drive safe, you can save up to 30% on your auto insurance. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Get a quote today. The land is dying, and the machines are out of control. <laughs> Whatever comes, I will be ready. Rated T for Teen. This place is going to be rocking. I just came back for the win. We're faster. We're stronger. Success is the best we Ready for war, I see the house and I'm up in the school. I just came back for the win. They say success is the best Two out of three? It's one fantastic ride. The turbocharged, tech-inspired new Kia Forte. Welcome back, everybody, to the world of X Games. I'm Jack Matrani. Let's get back to the action. Welcome back, everybody, to the Jeep Slope Style course as we continue with the final round to see who will come out on top in the men's snowboard slope style. But there you see Mark McMorris, who's won 20 X Games medals. He's up next, but first, let's get a closer look in today's Wendy's Athlete Profile. I think the energy surrounding X Games is definitely bigger than other events, just because the history behind this event, this is where everything happens for the first time, and it's sort of like action sports Super Bowl. And this is that moment that makes the X Games the X Games. Mark McMorris. Definitely a lot of highlights over the last decade. 2019, I was able to win the event in slope style on my last run and fully like pulled an audible and switched the whole run up. Oh my good work! That'd be really cool to uh, have the most slope style gold medals for sure. But uh, at the end of the day, I just want to ride to the best of my ability. And I think if I do that, I have a really good shot at getting that tiebreaker all cleared up. <laughs> that 2019 year was extraordinary. One of the best moments in the history of this contest. So now, this is that spot. This is where Marcus Cleveland really is getting nervous. The guy he just bumped out of the top spot the most decorated athlete in this field. And oh, by the way, partner, he's guaranteed at least a medal in this. So he reclaims the all-time Winter X medal lead, but he sure would like to end up with the gold, wouldn't he? One thing in the windshield right now, and that's to get to the bottom cleanly. Switch back 270, puts it right between the feet, solid up top. Switch back triple. Yep. So well done. Nice and clean. Coming into the next jump with the front side triple. Front side triple. Does he go back 16 triple or does he go back quad? Back 16. Perfect. You can't do it any better. Can't do it any better. He's already pulled over. He can't pull over any further. <laughs> that was so well done from Mark McMorris. That was so smooth, Craig. Take another look. Here's jump two, front side triple, 1440. Here's that third and final jump. See how he grabs Indy? That's the backhand, a little bit more difficult than that front hand grab, the wheedle grab, if you will. Eyes on the landing, takes it to blind. Yeah, watch where his head at it. I love these slow-mos. Staring at the landing the entirety of that last flip, right until he has to take it to 16-20. Those last two 
So that bump him back up into that crown position. It does! Mark McMorris reclaims that gold medal spot! Whispers of 2019. A come from behind first place run. Wow. Now we can't obviously crown him quite yet because our defending gold medalist Dusty Henriksen will be the last rider to drop in. But what a run from Mark McMorris. Can Dusty Henriksen jump up into the podium? He can jump up into the fashion conversation because he's just straight up wearing a t-shirt. To be honest with you, it's not that warm out today, but uh, he's got a lot of adrenaline. He's got a lot of steez on that front side too, pull. Switch back side 12, 60 loses it, and with that, Brando, with that, Mark McMorris will be earning his 10th career X Games gold medal. A look at our podium, Mark McMorris on his final attempt Able to overthrow Marcus Cleveland and take the top spot and Sven Torgren getting back and earning a bronze. Let's pass it down to DC who's with the champ. Yeah, thank you guys. Mark McMorris, we missed you last year, buddy. After having to sit out and watch from home, you came out, you just got your sixth slope style gold medal, 21st X Games medal. I mean, this is an amazing moment, man. What does this mean to you? Oh, dream come true type thing right here, you know, sitting on the couch last year watching from home definitely made me miss this whole vibe and then obviously to have the crowd here, what a treat and man, I, that is the best level of riding I've ever seen in a soap cell event and to, to be in there still over a decade later is pretty, pretty exciting. Well, congratulations, Mr. Unstoppable, Mark McMorris. There's a reason they call him the closer, folks. You bring him in if you want to strike out, and that's what Mark McMorris just did, a come from behind win. You can't write this stuff, Brando. He passes Sean White for the most men's slope style snowboard gold medal of all time. To be here and a decade later to still have the tricks to contend and get on top of the podium is easily the greatest feeling ever, and I'm thrilled. Well, there you have it. Another piece of X Games history in the books. But when we come back, 